Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to do a thermal repaste of a mid-2012 MacBook Pro 13-inch model. And the thermal paste we're going to be using is Arctic Silver 5 again. And just like that, a quick disclaimer. Whatever damages that you cost your laptop are up to you and we are not responsible for any of those damages. This video is only for reference or educational purposes. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. So here's our MacBook Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to boot this up to just to show you guys that it's a completely working laptop and I'm going to run Geekbench 5 on it to test the temperatures on the CPU when it's under a heavy load. So I'm just going to open up Geekbench here and run a benchmark. Okay, so as we're nearing the benchmark here, we can see that the temperatures are at their peak, which is at 94 to 96 degrees Celsius, which is a very high temperature for a computer like this. And once you've established that, the next step is to turn off the computer flip it around and then start taking it apart and you start that by taking off all the screws from the back panel of the laptop now make sure to keep all the screws organized because it's very easy to misplace a screw and put a wrong screw in a wrong hole which is gonna mess things up for you after you're done taking off all the screws gently lift up the back panel and you'll be inside the laptop Disconnect the battery, which is the very first thing to do. Take off the RAM modules from the RAM slots. And now you can start taking off the flex cables connecting various components to the logic board. Be careful not to break any of the flex cables because they are extremely fragile. start taking off the fan and then you can start to unscrew the logic board from the device once you've taken off all the screws you can gently lift up the logic board from one side and then you'll be able to see a bracket on the top right corner of the laptop Once you remove this bracket and take out the microphone, you are good to unplug the logic board from the device. Now moving on to the logic board, gently take off the heatsink from the CPU and then clean it with the proper isopropyl alcohol solution in order to apply the new thermal paste on the units. Once you have cleaned your heatsink and the CPU, you can start applying the new thermal paste. I'm using Arctic Silver 5 here. I'm just going to apply a small blob of Arctic Silver 5 on my CPU and then I'm going to use a plastic tool to spread it out evenly. So that's good enough for me. Once you're satisfied with the spread, you can go ahead and place your heatsink gently on the CPU and start screwing it down very slowly and applying even pressure to get a good spread on the CPU. Once you're done with that, you can start reassembling the laptop. Gently place the logic board back into the casing. And 
slowly place it down to make it properly see sealed and seated into its place. Once you have the logic board properly seated, you can start by adding in brackets and screwing down the lab logic board back to the casing. After you have the fans and the logic board screwed into place, you can start connecting all the flex cables back to the logic board. Be careful while you connect the flex cables because you don't want to break any of them. Once you've connected all the cables, you can start putting in the RAM modules and then connect the battery back before you close the laptop back cover. Put all the screws back into their proper places. Once the bottom panel is sealed, you can flip open your laptop and power it on to see if it boots up. If it boots up, everything is working. Now over here, I'm going to run Geekbench 5 again after the repaste to see the maximum temperatures that our computer get. I'm gonna just fast forward through the whole process and then show you the maximum temperatures we get during the end. As you guys can see here, the temperatures of the CPU here are maxing out at 84 to 87 degrees. Whereas previously it was 94 to 97 degrees which means it is giving us at least 10 degrees cooler temperatures. So as you guys just saw, we ran a benchmark which was Geekbench 5 before and after the thermal repaste. And before the thermal repaste, the temperatures peaked at 96 to 97 degrees and after the thermal repaste, the temperatures were 86 to 87 degrees max. So, which means the thermal repaste is, uh, gave us at least 9 to 10 degrees cooler temperatures on the computer, which is a significant amount for a system like this. So I hope you guys liked the video, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked the video just give us a like and comment on what you would like to see in future videos and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace out.